A Deer Valley Unified teacher and coach is on administrative leave after he was arrested for inappropriately touching students. Glendon Templeton was recently arrested by Phoenix Police on two counts of aggravated assault on the minors. And as Team 12's Colleen Sakura reports, police say this isn't the first time misconduct allegations have been brought up against him. While he was a teacher for a little more than a year at Canyon Springs STEM Academy, Glendon Templeton was only the volleyball coach for less than a month. When a Deer Valley Unified School District spokesperson says a parent brought concerns to school administrators, Phoenix police say two teenage student volleyball players say Templeton touched them inappropriately on different occasions, including touching and grabbing one victim's backside in a storage closet at school, while doing the same to both victims during practice while correcting their posture. Investigators say in arrest documents, Templeton has a history of allegations of sexual misconduct. From 2019, as a bishop in the LDS Church, documents say he was alleged to have coerced and or forced at least five women in his congregation to engage in sexual activity. The Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints said they could not provide any additional information to 12 News about those allegations. And in 1989, police say he allegedly molested a young female relative. Phoenix police say both those cases were closed with no charges. 12 News did contact Templeton by phone, but we haven't heard back from him. Deer Valley Unified School District said in a statement to 12 News, Templeton passed all of the required background checks during the hiring processes, including presenting a valid fingerprint clearance card. The spokesperson for the district said new complaints of unwanted touching by Templeton arose from other staff members during the volleyball investigation. Police arrested Templeton on two counts of aggravated assault on a minor, a class six felony. He was booked into jail, but has since been released on bond. He remains on administrative leave from the school. The district saying they take reports like this seriously as student safety is our highest priority. Colleen Sikora, 12 News. Colleen, thank you.